Welcome back aliens, my name is Devin Reddy and in this video we are going to talk about Code Java. In this particular course, which is a lengthy video, you are going to learn everything from the basics of Code Java to the end of Code Java. Now this is not the first time I am uploading the video on Java. If you can see from last few years, you will find multiple Java playlists and multiple Java full-fledged video. But we all know, right, the quality of videos are going up every day, plus the number of features getting added to a language is going up. And that's the reason I'm going to re-record the entire course. Now this is a full-fledged course and that's why it's so lengthy, but you cannot finish the entire course in one day. Even if it says 12 hours or 13 hours, it will take time. Now let's talk about Java. Now why Java is so famous? Now if you see the programming index, the top five programming language, you will always find Java there. Maybe at the first position or at the fourth position, you will find Java. Why Java is so famous is because Java has multiple features which helps it to be used in the enterprise market. I mean, not just enterprise market, it can be used for mobile development, web development, and of course, enterprise application. And most of the big companies, if you go there, they are using Java as their preferred language. Now in Java, we have a technology called JVM and it's not just Java, we have multiple languages running on JVM. So even if you are working on some other language, let's say Kotlin, Scala, Groovy, ultimately you're working on Java technology. And that's why if you learn Core Java, it is much easier for you to jump to different languages. And I've also observed, irrespective of which interview you're going for, it can be for development or testing, and that doesn't matter which language you're working on there, maybe Python, C Sharp, C++, they might ask you Java questions because, because most of the interview questions are based on Java because it, they feel that if you know Java, that means you know other languages as well, or you can learn other languages easily. As for my experience, or did I forgot to introduce myself? Uh, my name is Devin Reddy, I'm a corporate trainer, software developer, and currently focusing more on blockchain, but Java is my first love. So I'm working on Java from last 12 years. I've made multiple courses on Java on YouTube and different platforms. And yeah, I can teach Java any day, any time. Yeah, sometimes I have to watch my own videos to revise the concept. But the, the thing is, I love Java. And with this experience, I'm making the entire course. I was talking about my experience, right? In fact, I have learned multiple languages. In this all 12 years, maybe I have worked on 12 different languages. You can name it, maybe C++, C, Python, Java, JavaScript, uh, Go language. So I love most of the languages. Some languages I learned just for the projects. But then when I was learning those languages, I was I was feeling, hey, it's, it's, it's so easy. It's because I have learned Java. Yes, people say Java is difficult. Yes, to start with it is difficult. Maybe if you want to learn Java as your first language, it's kind of difficult because if you're coming from other language, let's say Python or JavaScript, and if you want to print one statement, you can actually see that in one line. Uh, that's not the case with Java, right? You have to write five lines of code. But yes, once you make a big application, the number of lines will remain almost same, okay? So Java is difficult, yes, just to start with. But the thing is, Java is one of the most readable language. What I mean by that is, if you are looking at someone else's code, you can read the Java code line by line. Uh, that's not true with other languages, okay? So Java is great in that terms. Java is maintainable, and that maybe that's why they most of the industries are preferring to use Java. Now, Java has multiple features. We'll talk about those features later, but just to name them, we got Vora, which is write once, run anywhere. It supports multiple multi-threads. It has a collection API concept. You can handle the exceptions. And we are going to learn everything in this particular course. Now, just to go for the history of Java, Java was made in 1995 by Sun Microsystem, and it was led by the team of James Gosling. Later on, Oracle bought Sun, so now the trademark of Java belongs to Oracle. Yes, in between, Oracle did some messed up things with Java, but yeah, they are back on track. And the beauty is, Java is getting updated every, every six months. Not the major updates, but they are working hard to make Java as the most powerful language. So I hope you are excited for the entire course. We are going to start from the basic, as I mentioned, and you will learn a lot of different stuff. But as I mentioned, it's not about completing the entire course in one day. You can use a timeline to jump between these sections. And also with this, we also have a code there. So in the description, you will find the link, GitHub link, where you can access all the codes. And maybe it will help. It will be helpful for you to write this code. So let's start the journey.